Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope everyone is doing well out there today. Uh, today I wanna to talk about kind of an issue that I've been having uh, as a content creator releasing three videos a week. Uh, up until recently, all of my videos have been rendered on a 240 gig SSD drive um, because it was the fastest storage I had available that I could just dedicate to having a fast-ish storage drive uh, for, for rendering and that sort of thing. Uh, the problem is that 240 gigs isn't a lot of space when you're dealing with recording videos. Um, so finally, uh, after some thinking, I decided to reach out to Sabrent and uh, ask them if they would send me one of their Rocket Q two terabyte NVMe drives. And surprisingly, they said yes. So uh, it showed up, I unboxed it, took a look at it. The, the, the unboxing experience was actually really nice. Comes in a very nice uh, package. Um, but then I got it installed and uh, did some side-by-side -side testing with it. And uh, the results at first were kind of surprising, I guess. So I rendered the same video on two separate drives. Uh, the video was 11 minutes and 44 seconds long. And when I rendered it on an SSD, that time ended up being about six minutes and four seconds for the render, which isn't too bad. Uh, but then I decided to do that exact same render on the Sabrent uh, Rocket Q drive, and it rendered in about five minutes and 49 seconds. So about a 15 second improvement, which I thought was kind of weird because of the huge uh, advantage that the NVMe drive has for read and write speeds. Um, but then I realized, oh yeah, dummy, uh, you're running a Ryzen 2600, uh, which is going to be the bottleneck right there. Uh, this definitely needs a faster processor to get its full utilization as far as read and write speeds are concerned. So what I decided to do is actually kind of take a deeper look at those render times. And uh, the, the original uh, render times, like I said, were five minutes and 49 seconds, and, and then uh, six minutes and four seconds. But what I realized was, a lot of that time was being spent doing the right after the, the, the render was complete. Uh, what I noticed is that the SSD took 16 seconds to write the actual finished file to the drive, whereas the NVMe drive only took about six and a quarter seconds to, uh, to render the, the, or to actually write the, the rendered file to the drive. So it's actually those read and write speeds uh, in those uh, larger file sizes where you're gonna get a huge advantage in this drive. In fact, if we take a look at uh, the Sabrent website here, uh, we can see that their, um, their estimated crystal disk mark uh, read and write speeds are about 3,200 and 2,900 megabytes per second, respectively. And what I noticed is I actually got speeds a little bit higher than that, probably within margin of error. Uh, but when I compared that to uh, the SSD read and write speeds that were about 500 megabytes read and write uh, for that same uh, file size, uh, that's when I really noticed that this is where uh, the NVMe drive is a huge, huge winner. So that's when I realized that the NVMe PCIe Gen 3 read and write speeds are miles ahead of the SATA read and write speeds that you're gonna get in their current iteration. So I really wanna say thank you to Sabrent for sending this drive over to me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be a huge help in me being able to uh, not have to spend as much time moving files around and that sort of thing to make space. Now I've got uh, roughly 10 times the space that I had uh, just a few days ago, and I really do, uh, I really do appreciate Sabrent for sending that over, giving me a chance to test this drive out, and of course tell you guys about my experience with that drive. Uh, in the link, or in the description down below, uh, I'm gonna have some links, and uh, one of those links will be to Amazon, where you can go pick up this drive if you wanna do that. That will be an affiliate link. Uh, there's also going to be a Luster link. Uh, Luster is somebody who reached out to me recently. Uh, they've got a, actually kind of a cool program. If you click that link uh, and go over and take a look, it's not going to be this exact drive, but it will be a two terabyte uh, Sabrent uh, M.2 NVMe drive. Uh, and you can actually see comparisons of that drive versus a lot of others uh, based on other reviews and things like that. So they've done all of the, the market research for you to figure out what's a good deal, what's a great deal, that sort of thing. Uh, so definitely check that out as well. That is also an affiliate link um, that will give you kind of more options to take a look very, very quickly and easily at other devices. Below that, there will be a Luster link, and that is my affiliate link, uh, that if you install that, uh, they're going to kick me a couple of bucks uh, for you installing their browser extension in 
Chrome. So if you want to support the channel uh, with just a couple of clicks, you can do that. You can in install their extension, have access to all sorts of uh, market research very, very quickly and easily anytime you're doing any online shopping. So definitely check out uh, those links down below. Um, but I think with all that being said, um, I hope you found this video uh, informative, entertaining, probably not, uh, but at least informative and helpful. If you found it uh, either of those, I suppose, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, would really mean a lot to me. Um, and I guess with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.